Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I wanted to talk about something very important and that's trademarks and copyrights when you are setting up and adding products to your print on demand stores. So this is extremely important for a number of reasons. No matter what print on demand platform you're selling on, could be Etsy, Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, any of them, this definitely goes for all of them. The reasons it's so important to follow copyright and trademark rules is not only because it's against the law, but it can get your print on demand store shut down or suspended for good. So this is actually super common on platforms like Etsy and Merch by Amazon. I know a lot of even print on demand YouTubers who have had their Etsy and Merch by Amazon stores shut down for infringing on somebody else's copyright when they didn't even know that it was copyrighted in many cases. So I'm hoping by me making this video, it will save your store from getting deleted or suspended, save you all that time you spent setting up these stores and adding products and ultimately save your print on demand business. All right, so now in here in my computer for this first example, I'm gonna be looking at products on Amazon. So if we just type in the search bar, funny shirts, we're obviously gonna get a ton of results here. And looking through some of these designs, if you wanted to make a design in any of these niches and wanted to find out if it was copyrighted, or some of these phrases incorporated into your designs, you would also wanna make sure that these are uncopyrighted. So coming down here to this first example, this shirt says how to pick up chicks, and it's three pictures of a stick figure guy actually picking up a baby chicken, so pretty funny shirt there. But if you wanted to make sure that you're able to make your own rendition of a shirt like this with the text how to pick up chicks on it, you would come over to this site, which I will put in the description at the top link here. And this is the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So on this website, you can just query a basic search here and type in the words how to pick up chicks, the words that you're curious if there's a trademark on and click submit query. So here we see that we have no match results for this query, so those text combinations is actually not copyrighted. So you would be good to go for using that phrasing on print on demand products. Coming back here and scrolling down this front page, we can see many other designs here. So this one is a Yoda shirt. So just because they have some Star Wars pictures up on Amazon doesn't mean that someone uploaded it and got through the original screening process of the print and just has uploaded a copyrighted design, they could be removed later. And that's actually even worse if you get one of these copyrighted designs through and you start making sales on it. So making money actually off of someone else's copyright, that is actually gonna be worse for sites like Amazon. They'll be more likely to delete or suspend your account. But the thing about Amazon is this probably actually is Star Wars. So clicking all the way through, this looks like this actually is the legit Star Wars brand through Disney selling this. So that is why they're able to sell that copyright. But obviously something like that you would not want to be uploading. And as we scroll down here, we see Grumpy from Disney. Obviously that is owned by the Disney company as well as while they're able to upload it. So finding another example of what something we would search is a shirt just like this basic text shirt just says I paused my game to be here for a video gamer shirt. Obviously we can see there's 15,000 reviews. So a super popular shirt and this might be a phrase that you would not even think to check the copyright on. But in my experience, I always check these text copyrights just to be sure. Basically anyone can copyright any kind of phrase or anything, so I would wanna check something like this. So going back to this trademark checker, if we check, I paused my game to be here and submit a query, we can see there's actually two copyrights that have come up. One is live and one is dead. So clicking into the copyright details, you can see this phrase, I pause my game to be here, is copyrighted on shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts, hoods, hoodie sweatshirts. So this is definitely gonna be a no for me on uploading this. And this is a big reason why people get their stores deleted or suspended is because you would not even think twice about this 
being a copyrighted phrase because it's so generic and pretty long of a phrase with six, seven different words in it, but it actually is copyrighted. So if you upload something like this, it might get rejected or you could get a copyright flag down the road, maybe not even right away, but could be possible. And you can see this filing date was actually just December 2020. So I'm guessing it actually might be this brand Ann Arbor t-shirts who has made maybe a hundred thousand sales on just this t-shirt if we're thinking uh, these 15,000 reviews generally less than 10% of buyers are going to leave a review so tons of sales on that is probably why they went through the trouble of getting that phrase copyrighted so they can be the only ones selling it from now on so if we do search that in Amazon, you'll notice there is a ton of listings here from different brands all selling this phrase. So these Etsy sellers would be at risk of getting their store deleted or suspended and it's really not worth that risk. And you can see a lot of them are getting sales but that is indeed a copyrighted phrase. All right, next we're gonna look at some more copyright issues, this time on Redbubble. So on Redbubble, I highly doubt that Disney or Star Wars is actually selling legit products on here. So if we do a search for Yoda t-shirts, we're gonna get 6,000 results. So all of these people that have uploaded a copyrighted Yoda design are at risk of getting their store deleted or suspended or getting a copyright strike at least on their account. So none of these things are going to be good for your account. And these people uploading these designs think they can get away with uploading them. So these artists uploading these designs think that they can get away with uploading these because it is their own artwork maybe in some cases. And they're not using the name Yoda in the title of the listing. So they think just because of those reasons they can get away with uploading it. But in reality this definitely would be a copyright strike. So designs like this that has a little Yoda coming out of the pocket would indeed be copyright. This one actually looks like it is Yoda, and secondly, it is E.T. This one is the outline of Yoda. This one is coming down even farther. We see they're using the Friends logo in addition to the Yoda outline here. So this would be double the copyright infringement. And same with this one, which they're using the SpongeBob characters plus the Star Wars font up here which could be seen actually as copyright as well here's another little baby yoda so making these kind of designs is pretty obviously a copyright issue here so i definitely would recommend not trying to rip off big brands or movies like this some star wars theme designs would be okay to upload such as a design like this that says pew pew which is the noise the gun makes pretty funny shirt they only use the words pew pew in here so wouldn't be copyrighted and has to do with Star Wars, but would be acceptable to upload. Another like this is a little simple drawing of Tatooine in one of the Star Wars movies, which is a cool design as well that would be acceptable. So it is still possible to upload designs that are themed around these movies, but you have to be careful and really think about what you're doing when uploading them. And it's not only the text that can get you in trouble, it is the actual images that you're using as well. So keep that in mind. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this information will keep some of your guys' stores open. And if so, please subscribe to the channel, bringing out a lot more print-on-demand content. And as always, another day, another beer.